the, the inner voice of God has got to be bigger than the outer voice of your circumstances. And that was what was happening with me. And I suddenly realized, you know what? This unseen world is bigger than this seen world. So we'd be at prayer meetings and I'd, I, I would hear uh, the guy who was our leader, who was a guy from Dublin, um, and he would, he would talk about, you know, oh, God's moving, God's doing this, God's doing that, God's doing the other. And I was saying to myself, in, in my spirit, I was saying, Lord, if, if this is happening, if this guy is for real, I want to see it too. And something, you know, the Bible says that if you hunger and thirst for righteousness, you'll be satisfied. So anything that's good and righteous and holy that you hunger and thirst for, God will honour that prayer. Hallelujah, that's good news. And so I started to see in the unseen realm, I started to see stuff uh, that was going to happen before the guy said it was going to happen. So I knew that he was telling the truth because I'd seen it too, right? Right? And I'm, I'm praying that you'll want to know this unseen realm. Amen. You see, there's a, there's a realm where you, you become untouchable. Life circumstances will, will slip off you. Where the things, are, you know, what was that song? Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful way. And the things of life will go strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Well, for me, the things of this world went strangely dim very quickly because there was like nothing to see out there anyway. Do you see what I mean? So I spent time in my room. I spent time in the presence of God. I remember the first time that God, uh, his presence walked into my room when I was praying. I remember what that was like. I remember seeing the light of his presence coming from afar. And you know, uh, you've got to know the absence of God before you know the presence of God. Real good key into learning about the presence of God. Turn to your neighbor and tell him, get to know his absence. You see, it's when you know his absence then that you can tell his presence. So a couple of times, like for maybe what, I don't know, it felt like weeks, but I think it was about eight to ten days, uh, I'd be praying in my room and there'd be no one there. And I knew there was no one there. And all I would do is sit there and call upon the name of the Lord and just, just call upon him. Lord, I want to know you. I want to, what was I doing? I was seeking God. Do you see what I'm saying? The word seek means to prioritise. So I was prioritising God. I was cutting everything else out. So too much time we get into the presence of God and just babble away. Oh Lord, I need this, I need that, I need that. Uh, bless Uncle John, bless Uncle Tommy, bless Auntie Mavis, bless Auntie such and such and such. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, Shandai. Bang. 